So as I'm sure you know, the stable version of the first quarterly platform release for Android 15 did roll out a couple of weeks ago, short form QPR1, but QPR2 has actually been out already in the beta form. We are on beta number two. In this video, what I'm going to do is quickly recap all of the new stuff, or at least the biggest new things in the Android 15 QPR2 betas. So to do this, we're going to be using my original Pixel Fold. And again, this is running Android 15 QPR2 beta number two. The first new feature to look at, you will see directly in the beginning of your system settings, you'll see modes as an option. Now, basically what this is, and it's kind of described here, minimize distractions and take control of your attention with modes for sleep, work, driving, and everything in between. Think of this as instead of regular, normal do not disturb, this is sort of a customizable version of do not disturb. So you can go down here and hit create your own mode and let's do custom. You can name it, you can give it an icon. So let's go ahead and just leave it as it is. And then you can set up a schedule. You can change the notification filters. You can filter different people, different applications, fully customize what this do not disturb mode is going to be good for. And then when you are in that scenario, you can enable that. So these next ones are only things you're going to see if you actually have a physical keyboard or mouse attached to the device. If we go into system, we can scroll down to mouse and pointer and touchpad accessibility. You can see a few new options here. Most notably, the ability to actually change the color of your pointer. Likewise, with a physical keyboard attached, if we go into keyboard and click on physical keyboard, there is a new redesign for the keyboard shortcuts pop-up. This is going to basically quickly explain to you what your different shortcut keys are going to be doing. And like I said, it just sort of has a new redesign to make this a bit easier to read through. There's a lot of shortcuts and it's just easier to get through them now. This next one is a pretty small change, and I would say that it's almost an undeserved change. If we long press on our home screen, we go into wallpaper and style, you, are, you will now see that themed icons no longer says that it is in beta. The reason I say that this is an undeserved change is because we still have far too many apps that just do not take on the theming, and I've said it once, I'll say it again, this should force theming on every single icon. App makers should have the ability to make their own themed version, which is what it currently basically is. You have to provide sort of the template in a simple way to look at it for what this is going to be. But if you don't provide one, it should just be forced because otherwise, for me, this option is pretty much useless because like I said, too many apps are not using it and it looks very strange. This next one is in your Bluetooth settings for certain devices. These are Pixel Buds Pros. You can see that there's going to be a ring around each item that will show what the battery level is. My case is dead, both my earbuds are full, but as that changes, you'll either see those rings begin to fill up or of course they will go the other way. Let's go ahead and plug these guys back in. Now, keep in mind, this is something that isn't going to be there for every single Bluetooth item, right? It's just going to be particular ones, but it is a pretty cool little additional feature. Under notification, scroll down and look for notification cooldown. This is also pretty well explained. When your device receives too many notifications within a short time, it will lower its volume and minimize alerts for up to two minutes. Calls, alarms, and priority conversations are not affected. So maybe you are in a group text message and it is absolutely blowing up and you're like, man, I wish that these vibrations, these notifications would just stop for a minute. I'm doing something. It's going to recognize that you're getting bombarded. It's going to bring that level down to give you a little bit of peace and quiet for a moment. So the Pixel tablet recently got the ability to have widgets on their lock screen with this QPR 2 beta number 2. We don't have the ability to actually resize these widgets. I don't have a Pixel tablet to show you this on, but trust me, evidently that is a thing. And then the last thing that I kind of want to point out to you, which is again something that I can't really explicitly show you, is that with this beta we are getting a, a Linux kernel update to 6.1. It's hard to say specifically what that's going to do, but typically these sorts of kernel upgrades give you some small performance improvements, enhanced security, basic things like that. 
Now, I would expect that by the time QPR2 actually rolls out here in a few months for there to be quite a bit in terms of new features, there will probably be a pixel feature drop alongside that like we just got with QPR1. If you want to see what that looks like, I'll drop a link to that video in the description down below. So these are just sort of these system changes. So don't look at this and think, wow, this doesn't seem like a whole lot going on. There will be more when it launches here in a few months. But for now, this is what we know. So guys, thanks for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content like this. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.